welcome i hope you are enjoying the learning experience with us please download our scholars learning app and enjoy now in this video we will be starting your last unit of microeconomics that is unit 4 which is forms of market and price determination so in this video we will be studying about the perfect competition and the coming next video the, there is a chapter in your book perfect competition so we will be covering all the aspects of perfect competition its equilibrium its change in demand supply armr and perfect competition everything in the coming videos so let us take a brief look that what the perfect competition market is of competition market now let's see see in perfect competition there is no difference between your buyers and sellers your buyers and sellers have equal hold on the market means your sellers and buyers are equally strong if your buyer is strong your seller is also strong if your buyer is weak in the market your seller is also weak means there is no discrimination among your buyers and sellers <clears throat> so you can write it as when in a market for a good all the buyers all the buyers and sellers are placed equal in all aspects so that no individual buyer or seller is in a position to influence the market price on its own then the market is termed as perfectly competitive see your buyers and sellers are given equal weightage in the perfect competition there are large number of buyers and large number of sellers your individual buyer cannot affect the demand or supply your individual seller cannot affect the supply so in order to have any change in the perfect competition market in the demand and supply of a good a large number of buyers should change their buying habit or a large number of sellers should they change their selling patterns so an individual buyer or individual seller cannot affect the market price so your perfectly competitive market is defined as a market in which no individual firm can influence the market price on its own so the firms in the perfect competition market is a price taker because an individual firm takes this price as given and described as to how much to sell at this price see you determine the price in the perfect competition according to the demand and supply so your industry is a price taker there is a difference between a firm and an industry 
right see a form is a single unit industry is a group of firms right let's say kaya they make the personal care products this is a form but what is the industry the personal care industry includes all the firms that sell the personal care products which is your kaya amway lakme body care your revlon a avon so this is industry of your personal care and your products and this is a single firm so this is the difference between your firm and industry so to the market demand and market supply we have understood in the demand and supply chapter what was the market demand and what was the market supply so when the market demand and market supply determines the price so the industry is the price take up in the perfect competition now the features of perfect competition market number 1 is large number of buyers and sellers See the number of sellers is so large that the output of an individual seller is an insignificant proportion. Right? The the sellers are so many that if a single firm, if a single seller changes its output, it does not affect the market. As such, any change in the output plan of a single producer, assuming no change in the output by other producers, has negligible effect on the total output. and similarly if we see in the case of buyers so buyers is are so large that an individual buyer if they change their i mean like proportion of total product purchase they won't affect the whole buyers or quantity demanded buyer so individual buyer will have no or negligible impact on the total market demand so there are large number of buyers and sellers in the market second is all firms produce homogeneous products i gave you an example of personal care industry they produce the personal care products like your shampoos your um, creams and then your powders and deodorants and all things right so they are all are producing this similar product so homogeneous genius products with similar or same products so all the firms kaya revlon maybelline body care they are producing a similar products but the firms are different so that becomes your industry so there are homogeneous products the buyer treat the goods produced by different firms as homogeneous so that all buyers are willing to pay the same price for the products of all producers of a good so no producer in a position to chair charge a different price to product it produces the third one we have is there is perfect knowledge about market and technology see your buyer has a perfect knowledge about the market like what are the competitive um 
firms in the market in that particular industry what is the price of the similar product of all the other you know firms they are producing if your kaya has a sunscreen of rupees 499 then what the lakme sunscreen is what the revlon sunscreen is and what are the specification or ingredients or descriptions about that particular cream so they have the complete knowledge about the market the buyers and if i talk about the sellers they have the complete knowledge about the technology that they are using a best and efficient technology in the market each firm has perfect knowledge about the technology each producer is aware of all the available techniques of producing a particular good so this ensures same price per unit cost by all the firms in the industry so if, if all the firms have the perfect knowledge about the technology in that particular industry the cost of production will be same for all the firms fourth is freedom of entry and exit for firms in the long run so in the long run if you are planning to enter into a personal care product you want to manufacture your own product you can easily do if you want to manufacture the watches you can do if you want to manufacture a clothes you can do so there is free freedom of entry and exit for firms in the long run if you are if you are having a business of let's say clothes and you are not able to earn profit as expected so you can easily exit the firm so these are the four features of the perfect competition market please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us